I just woke up and this boat is literally right on us. I don't know how it didn't hit the wind generator. <laughs> I was just like, woke up to get some water. I was like, holy fuck, there's a boat hanging over us. So I just had, we had to pull forward on the rope so we're not as long. We finally got off the boat. That was so scary. I don't know how we didn't hit that, like, hit it hard. The boat of the rope was stuck in the rudder. Ollie had to jump in and um, get it out, and then once he had pulled it out, it, the boat just started moving. Nearly ripped that wind generator off. Man, that was crazy. So how did that not hit? Oh, I was just so lucky. I think we just had the perfect length of rope tied off to that boat, because we swung back into this guy, in the front of that, and um, that was steered through in between the wind generator and here. So lucky it didn't, it was just so lucky. And the mooring line was wrapped around our rudder. So that, was so that must have been holding us there for a while. Yeah. Because as soon as you pulled it off, we started moving. And yeah. that- it Must have just been on the turn of the tide we swung. Mm. Oh yeah, really lucky we didn't get our wind generator ripped off and our rudder. rudder. <laughs> Heck, okay. <laughs> lucky I woke up to Get a drink. Yeah. So that was a hectic morning. We pretty much haven't slept since that happened. Paradise has no scratches and is a okay. Thank God we're very, very lucky. What has happened, we come in late yesterday and we tried to, because there was heaps of tourist boats here, we tried to, we found a little sandy patch and we tried to anchor, but one of the guys on the tourist boats came over and said, we're not allowed to anchor here, we have to tie into the back of him which is not ideal because we move with the wind because we're a lot lighter we don't draw as much as they do they're big heavy wooden boats and they move with the current and obviously that's what happened to us before we almost hit that boat or well, got caught around our rudder we're very very lucky but so we're not going to stay here another night we're just going to go diving it's meant to be really nice diving here hence why there's so many tourist boats there's meant to be a lot of turtles, so pretty excited to get in the water and swim with some turtles and then we'll set sail and find a new quieter spot where we can have our own mooring buoy. <laughs> we just grabbed um, a mooring buoy because the boat behind us left, so we've, we've taken their mooring buoy. Um, there seems to be having a lot more swing radius in this at this spot, so hopefully while we go diving the boat will be okay. <laughs>
Gonna move on um, from this anchorage. We had awesome dive at Siaba Basar today, but um, we don't want what happened last night to happen again. So we're gonna move on and check out Gili Lawa Laut, which is up the northern section of Komodo. tonight and it's absolutely glassy in here there's no wind and all the tourists have gone there's only a couple of boats another catamaran behind us hey, look at this serenity it's absolutely amazing it just we just watched the sunset and it was just like this Oh, it's so big and just beautiful. Um, this is our anchorage for tonight. It's so peaceful in here. I think we're going to have a good sleep and we've got our own mooring buoy. So the last couple of days in um, Komodo National Park have just been absolutely unreal. Diving with manta rays, turtles, hundreds of fish. The water is just clear as all hell. The visibility is amazing. The reef is really healthy. So we definitely um, don't want to leave. <laughs> But uh, we've got to get on to Sumbawa so we can um, do our visas soon in the next two weeks. So we'll have to leave to move on. But yeah, it's just been absolutely magical here. And So we just came back from a dive then and oh, it was epic. We were diving with big GTs, dog tooth tuna, um, trevally, barracudas, like um, there was just hundreds and hundreds of fish. It was incredible. I've never really swum with that many fish before. So we'll be back out there tomorrow. Have a barbecue for dinner. Oh, this is cleaning all the mold off the Weber. <laughs> Hasn't been used in a while. Big bloody super boat right in front of us. He's gonna be blocking our view of the sunset. What you whipping up, boy? A couple of corns on the cook. Get a magic, magic sauce. That big super boat's leaving, so we can see the sunset now. Woohoo! Off you go, mate. Off you go. Cleaning it. <laughs> it's still clean. It's been used in a while and I think it hasn't had enough meat on it. So it's gone oh, by. yeah. It's had too much death on it, that's why. Too many vegetables. Yeah, veggies are good. Well, they make it moldy. Charles! A couple of sundowners. Yes. Got some corns on the cook. On the cook? Mm, got a bag of patty. <laughs> Did you enjoy diving today? Yeah, it was awesome. It was so epic. 
So a big um, GTs, dog tooth tuna, oh, so a huge jack, some golden snapper. Barracuda. Barracuda. <laughs> just the amount of fish in one area and they're big fish. They weren't yeah. just little fish. Barracuda had his mouth open getting his mouth clean, so mm. that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was so bizarre. He was just laying there, like laying there, and he's just like getting a dental floss by another fish. <laughs> I thought he was laying there and the fish were going into his mouth and he was just eating them and then I realised they were coming out and in and yeah, out. Yeah, clean fish. Uh, we don't want to leave Komodo. But the we? next spot we're going to, we're allowed to go spearfishing because it's outside the park, so I'm pretty excited for that, seeing all the fish out here. Yeah, but they're probably so much fish here because you can't fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's so healthy. Cheers for watching, guys. You know the drill, if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of our adventures, subscribe to our channel, links below. Uh, so we've set up a Patreon account. We just want to give a special thank you to Paul and Deb for joining the Paradise crew and supporting our journey. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time. Sampai jumpa lagi. Destroy what you came to enjoy.